Hey everyone, Russell here, back with another video, and this is my game room tour for 2017. Um, just kind of want to give you guys a quick pan real quick, and then I'm going to start from uh, one end to the other, and just show you uh, briefly what I got, and hope you guys like. Uh, please uh, give me a comment down below, or a link to uh, your game room tour, because I really love watching these. So one more little pan here. I'm going to show you my uh, my dogs, Muffin and Charlie, my uh, French Bulldogs. They're going to join us for this tour. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think I'm going to start right here at my uh, modern collection, and I'm going to go that way and go all the way around the room. So as you can see, um, I think this was in my last, yeah, it was in my last game room tour. This is a 4K 60-inch uh, Samsung TV, love it. As you can see, we're watching my uh, last year's uh, game room tour. And uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I'm so glad I picked it up. Um, really, really uh, brings out colors and sharpness. Even stuff that's not 4K, it, it makes look awesome. So below that, I've got uh, most of my, what I consider, modern systems. So I've got my uh, original Glacier White PS4. Below that, I've got my Xbox 360 that I've got my custom skins on from Battlefield 4 and Gears of War 2, I believe that skin is from. Then uh, right here, I've got uh, my Xbox One original, my Glacier White. Um, this is one of two I got. My first one, the uh, disk drive is kind of failing. So I kind of use that for a streaming system upstairs. On top of there, I got a uh, little... Uh, display car there, an Xbox display car that uh, my good friend and fellow YouTuber JP Styles sent me. Um, shout out to him, check out his channel, it's really cool. It's JP Styles 85, guys. Um, down here, I've just got a couple movies that I like, keep on hand. A laptop that uh, works, but the screen doesn't, so I gotta like plug it into the TV to use it. It's really old anyway, so I barely ever use it. I really have to update my computers. Uh, my PS3, uh, my Wii U. Uh, let's see. Uh, over here next to it, uh, I just have a couple display boxes. Um, some that I've uh, found in dumpsters uh, next to GameStop. Uh, some are the actual, like the bottom green one. And the top white one are actually uh, the original boxes mine came in. Let's see, moving over here, I've got some uh, art and a awesome Harley Quinn standee. Really dig that. Little sexy bitch, huh? With the Joker poster behind there, I thought that was pretty cool. Halo 4 poster. Um, one of my uh, studio lights I got going on for you guys. It's uh, how you roll. Um, putting bags over the LED uh, lights uh, kind of diffuses it, helps. <laughs> See, uh, down there, that's an all-in-one gateway computer that uh, isn't very powerful at all, but uh, the limited editing I do, I do do on that, so it gets the job done until I get something new. Got a Halo helmet here, Master Chief, and then some DVDs, and I think there's a couple Blu-rays mixed in there of movies that I like. Um, coming over here, this whole section right here is just kind of my old-school section, Got a couple of beanbag chairs, center console there with some magazines. Uh, there's a piece of shit right there. And then I have like all my old consoles right here. As you can see, I have my uh, Sega Genesis, my Dreamcast, my PS4, Super Nintendo, original Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo with a uh, Predator skull and a uh, little, what is that, a pop figure, I think, yeah. Got my uh, N64 and PS2. So over here I've got uh, my uh, original Xbox. And then I've got one of those kind of plug and play all-in-one Ataris. Uh, Sega Saturn courtesy of JP Styles. Thank you, bud. Um, this is a DVD recorder. So if I ever do any footage from these old schools, I uh, burn it onto a DVD. And then I just load it into the computer. Probably not the most efficient way to do it, but that's how I'm set up right now. Um, I've got this big-ass TV. I picked it up for a dollar. Uh, it's a Panasonic. Works awesome. This thing is heavy, man. Took me and my cousin to get it down here. Holy crap, I'm dreading the day that I have my new game room and i got to move this thing. 
holy shit, but gets the job done. It's got great sound, awesome picture. Um, up here, I've got my switchers. This is how I switch between consoles. Um, I've got a sweet uh, cup here. I think I got that from Loot Crate. I keep my uh, drone batteries in there. Uh, speaking of which, I got like a new hobby. Drones, they're fucking awesome. Um, let's see, lava lamp, some Mario and Luigi figures, uh, pretty rudimentary sound system here. Um, oh, cousin got me a, a copy of Shamu. Little Meep drone, uh, floor drone. Up there I've got uh, some whatever plushes I have. And in this area right here, I actually just recently did a video on all my Amiibo, so I'll just go over this pretty briefly to show you. I keep all my Amiibo in box, or most of them anyway. And uh, I think they make a pretty cool backdrop. i uh, got a Quantum Break poster right there. And then something that was only going to be temporary is actually going to build into the wall. But I'm actually having a new game room um, probably within the next couple of years built. So this room right here actually won't be my game room. It's going to be somewhere else on property. So I'm not going to have this forever. That's kind of why it is the way it is. But it's a separate air conditioner for the um, for the room here. Works great. I do have central air, but if I want it really cold, which that's how I like it, you got to roll with an extra air conditioner. On top of there, as you can see, I got a drone, um, the first of many I intend on getting. My cousin C does hooked me up with it. Thanks, bud. Um, holy shit, dude. This Drones are awesome, guys. I, I highly suggest you guys give it a try. Um, over here, um, say uh, Darth Vader. And then one of my favorite pieces of art I've got here is my... Uh, Kramer. I'm a big Seinfeld fan. Uh, see right here. I got a little storage area for like wires, um, my radio evac batteries that, you know, my rechargeables, uh, my remote. Uh, this is how I change actually. I can show you guys. This is how I change all of my, between all my consoles. It's an HDMI splitter. Um, none of them, the other ones are on, so it probably wouldn't do much good to show you that. Um, over here, I've got a pretty comfy couch that i got a blanket on because I have the dogs down here and I don't want them getting hair all over it, but that's Muffin and Charlie, my French Bulldogs. We chill down here a lot and uh, do a lot of gaming on this couch. Um, cool little light right there. Nightstand. Um, over here, I've got a, a Ninja Turtles, uh, the new ones. Which, they're alright, man. They're not, they're not too bad. I still haven't seen the second one, though. No. Really excited about that. I, hopefully I'll... One of these days, man. I I got kids. I'm, I'm married. I, I It's hard to find the time to do stuff sometimes, so... I'd rather game than watch movies. But one of these days I'll see it. But it makes a good uh, light shield there. So I got my blinds behind it, but it just gives you that extra light shielding. Keeps it nice and dark in here, because... Right now, I have this whole place, every light, as you guys can see, is on. Even my studio lights, everything. And then I even have fluorescents that are built into the room up there. And that's just so I can show you everything. Normally, I don't even have these fluorescents on, and then I wouldn't have the uh, studio light on. So it's uh, a lot cooler look, as you can see. And I like to keep it real dark in here. It also helps keep it cool because I live in such a hot climate in the summer. So I'm going to throw these back on so I can show you this area right here. So my cousin writes children's books and he wrote one about my French Bulldog Muffin. It's called Muffin's Juggle Struggle. So that's one of the books there that's uh, framed and autographed. Uh, my wife made that for me for Father's Day with my daughter. A uh, picture of my father and grandfather and then the dog and cat, um, one of them, is, uh, the dog's Lilu, she's no longer with us, and the cat is Taquito, which we still have, goes by Taco, but uh, he's upstairs, he's camera shy, and then I want to do one of these at least once every couple of years, um, I always love these, this is a caricature of my wife and me and my daughter, theme for Super Mario. So the next one, I'm not sure what theme I want to go with. I was thinking maybe like Gears of War because I'm really into that. So I, I don't know. We'll see. But 
I think it'd be really cool. Um, over here, speaking of Gears of War, I've got a uh, picture here. And I go to Game Room LED light, which actually is not on. Uh, if I turned it on, it would really mess with the camera. It makes weird lights and stuff in the camera. It really looks bizarre. It fucks with it too bad. So I leave it off during the tours. But it's actually from this Luma Storm right here, transmitting electricity wirelessly. As you can see, the closer it gets, the more it powers up. I just think that's kind of neat. If, that, if you guys can hear that snorting, that's uh, Charlie right there. He's a snorter. Um, up here, I've got my Harley Quinn little pop collection. Whatever I can find a Harley Quinn. I'm a big fan of her. Especially the, like the 90's animated series. Harley Quinn which is the front and center one right there. Um, I'm also a huge... I like Star Wars but I love Star Trek. So I've got... Uh, and I'm a huge fan of the Borg so I have them right there. Um, Data is probably one of my favorite characters. Along with Q which I have. Um, so I've got those out. Luma Storm, and then I'm also a huge Silent Bob fan. If you guys are friends with me on um, was it Xbox Live, I'm Silent Bob 187. Uh, if not, send me a friend request. We'll hook up and play some games. Got my Beats Pill. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm a big Aliens fan as well. This came with uh, Aliens Col Colonial Marines. Game wasn't that great, but I thought this was a cool piece that it came with. Little robotic bug. Um, that is a hell bug from Defiance. Um, just keys for the place. So getting on to my games. Uh, here is my collection of... Uh, well, actually, before I start with my games, I'll show you an overview here. And I'm not going to go into detail on my collection because I do individual videos on my whole collections. of Like, for instance, I do 360 videos, Xbox One videos. I have a Wii U uh, video coming out, I've done one for my NES collection, so on and so forth. So once my collection gets to a certain size, I do a video on it, so there's not really any need for you to see every game I have, you can just go watch that video. Um, just subscribe to my channel and look in the feed there, you'll find them. So let's go ahead and get started, I got my NES games, um, trying to keep some order to the chaos, they are somewhat alphabetical. Got them right there. And then uh, I've got a pretty limited Super Nintendo collection, but some of the ones that I played as a kid. Um, I've got some boxed. Well, I have uh, these are my loose uh, N64, and I hate that I don't have N labels yet. I need to order those. But I've got some boxed ones uh, down here. I also have uh, some Sega Dreamcast, um, Sega Saturn games, a couple of those, uh, a boxed NES game. Uh, just uh, let's see a couple Wii U games here and here. Also got some Wii U games. Sega Genesis. Some accessories along with my boxed uh, N64. Um, down here I've got uh, my original Xbox collection. Then we start getting into my 360 stuff. Which I've got quite a few 360 games. Uh, PlayStation 1, pretty limited, but I, I'm working on that. I'm looking for quality over quantity on that system. PS2, PS3, and limited PS4. I do all my multi-plats on Xbox One, so I just try to, try to get exclusives on the PS4. And in my growing Xbox One collection... See some more 360s, and then over here, right next to my games, uh, on top, I usually put all of uh, stuff that I haven't done a pickups video on yet. So these amiibo that I've gotten, uh, a couple Xbox One games. Um, it's a picture of my pops right there, but uh, I just. Throw it up there until I uh, catalog it, do a video on it, and then I put it out for display. Below here I've got a... this whole shelf is actually pretty cool. It's on wheels. It's like an old convenience store display shelf for like Hostess or something. But uh, I put all my controllers and stuff in the bottom shelves here. It's so, like this is all Nintendo, it's all Microsoft, Sega, Sony, um, 
I do have more than that. They're probably scattered around the room somewhere. And then down there, I keep uh, like extra camera equipment. Uh, as you can see, there's some Atari controllers. Um, next to, well, actually, there's some art right here. I got uh, my Harley Combs. This is actually one of my favorite uh, posters right here. It's my periodic table of game controllers. Really like that. And then up here, I've got some shelving. See, that's Cartman right there. Um, that is an Exo Squad E frame. I used to play with those as a kid. I love anything like robots or mechs and shit. That's why I like Titanfall so much. Uh, let's see, a Game Boy original. Um, that is uh, a fist from uh, Hellboy. It's like a coin bank. I'm a big Godzilla fan, so I got Godzilla vs. King Kong on Blu-ray. Then I have the uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters on Xbox. And the original and in-box NES game, which I played a shit ton as a kid, but it's actually not that great of a game. Uh, let's see here. One of the last things is kind of my Gears Shrine. Wasn't too impressed with Gears 4, but I mean, it's not a terrible game. It just didn't blow me out of the water like I was hoping it would. But uh, this one here is... Uh, Mainly all my Gears 3 stuff. Uh, I really thought it was a cool uh, bundle that uh, I picked up. And actually, it's still really cheap. Uh, i got a refrigerator down here for, you know, snacks, sodas, stuff like that. Um, coming back around, and we've made a full circle. So uh, I'll give you guys one last overview of the room. Um, give me any uh, questions or comments. Um, please give me a like. That really helps the video and the channel. Um, Please subscribe. As always, guys, one more pan here. There we go. All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. And as always, game on.